always start with a quick diagram just to check the forces. So we have a ball of mass 0.2 kilograms. So we're going to have 0.2 g acting down. So that's 2 this time. So we're going vertically upwards and air resistance, which will also be acting down, is 0.004 v squared. So the resultant force in the direction of motion has to equal mass times acceleration. We have two choices. With A, A can either equal dv dt or v dv dx. And in this case, we can see from the question we want to use v dv dx. What I'm going to do here now is divide everything by 0 0.2, which gives us minus 10, minus 0 0.02, v squared equals v dv dx. We then factorise the left-hand side by taking minus 0 0.02 outside the brackets, and that's going to give us 500 plus v squared equals v dv dx as asked for. Remember that you can try part two even if you haven't completed part one correctly and this time we want to split the variables. So we have a v, v and v and if I bring those together I'm going to have v dv divided by 500 plus v squared and that's going to equal minus 0.02 dx. We now want to integrate both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Right-hand side is straightforward, minus 0.02x plus the constant of integration. And on the right, we are going to have the natural log of 500 plus v squared. And we have v on the outside and we divide by the differential, so that's 2v which gives us one half ln 500 plus v squared equals minus 0.02x plus c. Again, going back up to the question, when t equals zero, v equals 15. At the moment, this appears that we can't use this in our equation because we have t, but our equation's in terms of x. But remember, we know that at t equals 0, it's projected from the start, so x equals 0. So I can now fill in that a half ln mod 500 plus 15 squared equals c. So c is a half the natural log of 725. So I can say that my equation is a half natural log of 500 plus v squared equals minus 0.02x plus one half the natural log of 725. I still haven't answered the question, which is find where the maximum height occurs, and that occurs when v equals zero. So one half the natural log of 500 equals minus 0.02x plus one half the log of 725. Solving that, 0.02x equals one half ln 725 minus one half ln 500. 0.02x equals one half ln of 725 over 500. So x would equal 25, that's a half, divided by 0 0.02 ln 29 over 20.